Hi everyone, this is Cody, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a speed test of the brand new 21.5 inch iMac that I unboxed last week. And um, so let's get started. The first test I'm going to be doing is Geekbench. Uh, I'm going to be screen recording it, so the speed test won't actually be as good, but I will have a screenshot of the speed it gets without screen recording. So let's jump into it. Okay, so now let's go into Launchpad and let's start with Geekbench. So I do have the trial version of Geekbench, so I can only run my benchmark in 32-bit. It could score about a thousand more uh, points if you benchmark it in 64-bit, so just keep that in mind. But let's run the, ben the benchmark. So... This will give you an, an idea of how long it takes it to run it as well. So when you compare these tests to probably other computers, if you're looking into buying one, you want to compare 32-bit to 32-bit test, and you want to compare the 64-bit test to another 64-bit one, just because it makes a difference, and you don't want to compare a 32-bit to a 64-bit test because that would kind of defeat the purpose but so it's been going for about 42 seconds now and it's almost done so it looks like this is going to take about a minute to do this test there we go and we have the test it is it got six thousand eight hundred and forty points now this is a good score but it gets a lot more than that when it is not screen recorded so right now I will put the image up of the test or of the Geekbench it got when I'm not recording okay so as you can see that was pretty good um, so now let's move on to the next test I'm going to run, which is Cinebench, right here. This will do graphics and CPU tests. Um, so, just let's do the CPU test. And let's do the graphics test first, or the OpenGL. So, this is going to really test that graphics card inside of it. So, here it's going to do a race scene. with some very intense graphics to test the performance of this computer. So here we go. And one of the um, reasons I did get this one is I was planning on getting a spec, a totally spec out Mac Mini, but I got this because it had a dedicated graphics card and the Mac Mini only had Intel Graphics 4000, so that's one of the reasons why I went with this iMac. So here we go. It is almost done. So there we get a score of 21 frames per second. Now that's not too good. I will have the score that it got when I'm not recording screen. I will put it up. Well actually I'll just put both of them up after we've run the CPU test. So it's rendering a high resolution image right now. Okay, so it's getting pretty close to being done.
Okay, so now it looks like it just has the edges left to do. Okay, so we got a score of 3.48 uh, points on this, which is not that good. Well, it is, but not for this. And now I'm going to put up the image of the OpenGL test when it's not recording and the points when it's not recording. So as you can see, almost 35 frames per second on the OpenGL is not bad at all. It's actually pretty good for this. And then the 4.43 points is also pretty good. Uh, so let's close out of this. No, I don't want to save the benchmark. And let's run the final test I'm going to run on this, which is disk speed test. Uh, so let's start the test. And we're getting about 96, 95. It almost gets 100. Um, so there we go. I'll just let it run for a bit, see what it gets. Whoa, it's not getting too good. Although keep in mind, since I am screen recording, it is right into the hard drive right now, so this is affecting the scores. So that's good enough. So right now I'm going to put up what it gets when I'm not recording. Okay, so as you can see, 54 for a 5400 RPM hard drive and not being an SSD, 100 uh, read and write is actually pretty good. So that has been my speed test of the iMac. Um, I think it's pretty good. So that's it for now. I will see you all in the next video.